What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the power packs. So we're going to be doing a breakdown of these and a quick overview of them because a lot of people have been asking me on Discord and on Twitter as well as on YouTube as well. What is the best pack? You know, is there a really good pack this week? Because we've also had the other three before. We had Arteta, we had Ten Hag, and we had Barcelona Xavi. And now we've got a couple of more, right? So we've got Bayern, Inter, and AC Milan, right? So you can just go into the packs here. There are 1,500 coins for every one of them. So I'm just going to give a brief rundown of the packs, right? So first up, we have Bayern. Bayern are going to add you Thomas Tuchel, right? We're also going to get all of these players that you see here. We'll go through them in a second. And also with this Tuchel card, we're going to have a plus one to physical contact and he is going to be playing out wide as his team play style proficiency, right? On top of that, we also have AC Milan. You've got all of the cards here that you see. Rafael Leao, you've got Calabria, you've got Giroud, Hernandez, some good cards in there. Uh, and on top of that, you also have Pioli with AC Milan playing as his team play style proficiency quick counter and he is going to have a plus one to the tackling player stat so basically if you are going to be playing a, play a team right that has got a lot of defense if you're playing five at the back this is actually quite a good one because you can play quick counter and you can play five at the back and then basically you can just have a plus one to tackling for all your stats so that is probably fairly op i would say plus one isn't going to change the dial but it can be the difference between going between different levels right and then last but not least they've added also the inter milan which which I think is quite decent as well if you're starting off plus one to stamina you're going to have 85 quick counter as well and you're going to be getting all of these players including I would say Endgame Barella and Martinez and I would also say Turam, DeMarco and Sommer are quite decent as well right so that is what you get with those you don't get any XP or anything else with that any contracts it's basically the manager the booster manager that gives a boost uh, Inzaghi is going to give a plus boost to the stamina and then we've already talked about the other ones I would say that the Bayern one is probably going to be the most popular one because they've got some really good players in there but there is a couple of omissions which we'll get into in a second right so starting with the Inter Milan pack here okay and looking at the players that are at, their, at your disposal here I'm actually going to hide my webcam here because we are going to go over to eFootball DB I'll keep this short and sweet so they've got some nice players, right? I do like Sommer. He's a fantastic player. We'll show you actually over on eFootballDB here. All right, so this is just a rough guide to Sommer, right? If you're looking at having a base squad, this Inter Milan pack is brilliant. You've got your goalkeeper. You've got a really good center back in Bastoni here. And of course, all of these players are going to get the plus two manager boost as well. Bastoni is a fantastic option. All the defensive stats in the 90s, you're going to have 75 speed and acceleration. Physical contact and jump is quite good. You also have a box-to-box -box CMF, one of the best CMFs in the game. You can have him a little bit more attacking if you don't want to have him defensive. You can have them stats really, really nice if you want to include an 87, 88 acceleration, depending on how you train him up, if you want to go down that route. If you want to make him a little bit more defensive, you can do that as well and have, you know, very, very high defensive level there uh, if you want to go up into the 90s nearly with aggression and, and defensive engagement. Really solid. And then, of course, you have Lataro. So Lataro is probably one of the best standard non-epic run and gun players, right? Insane offensive awareness, acceleration and balance all in the 90s with the boost. And then, of course, the speed at 77 is more than enough for the distance you're going to be covering. And, of course, the dribbling and the finishing is awesome as well. So that is a fairly good pack, I would say, to get, especially because the manager is going to give you the boost there as well. I know, look, people will probably say, what is the point in having a plus one to stamina? But I reckon these managers will be upgradable over time. So that's probably where the real attraction will come from with them because there is 50 days left in these, okay? Next up, we have AC Milan, just to give you a quick guide through that whether I think that's worth it or not. They kind of have a very similar built squad here, right? Now, obviously, there's a couple of players missing that you would you would be saying, you know, where are they or, or, or whatever, but you have that with Bayern Munich as well, which is the bigger omission with Musiala missing, which we'll get into, right? But Rafael Leao, Hernandez, Giroud, and I would probably say Calabria and Krunic are probably the guys you want to buy this pack for, right? So when we go over to Football DB here, so there are four players that we... Well, look, there's more than four that are good here, but looking at these guys here, Rafael Leao, playing him as a center forward, you can do that, but I would definitely say that this card is better suited to a left winger because you've got the pace. You don't need to worry too much about finishing there. You've also got Tio Hernandez and Calabria. They're both good options for left and right back. 
And obviously, if you're going to be having a bit of pace and power, you can't go too far wrong with Hernandez for the pace. And obviously, for Calabria, you've got his passing, you've got defense, you've got everything that you could possibly want there, including the good engine on him. And of course, Mignan in goals is going to be a solid goalkeeper there as well. I wouldn't say that this is the best Mignan card because he only has 21 levels. I reckon that these cards, you should have had one card in this with like about 36 levels. Like if, if Leao had 36 levels, that you could have this card with him, right? That we see here. And you could have like 85, 86 finishing. It would have been a godly card that would have been like, yeah, I have to get him. So I do think that they missed the boat here that there should have been one special teamed player um, in the pack, which would have made it a little bit more attractive. For 1,500 coins, it is quite it is quite heavy, you know, um, for what you're getting. Yes, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck comparing, you know, to doing the lottery and taking a chance by spinning. But I just feel like that these players, they're very similar to the standard cards, you know. Um, obviously, with stat-wise, when they play, they play a little bit different, obviously. We've also got Tuchel here as well with these cards. And the big omission here, lads, is Musiala. I mean, that is a very, very big omission, in my opinion. I think that he should have been in there. He's obviously probably their most exciting player, I would say. Um, currently at the moment, I mean, he's an absolute beast of a player. I love watching him. Um, you know, he's, he's a fantastic player when you see him on the ball and stuff, he just moves differently. And I do feel as well that, you know, Harry Kane is probably the pick of the pack here in terms of his cards. Um, but we've had multiple versions of these cards here, like multiple versions over the last couple of weeks, so to speak. Um, where we've, where we've had different kind of cards coming into the fold, you know, Open Meccano, Harry Kane, all of these guys that are going to be here. You know, there, there's, there's always a difference maker or two within the cards, but obviously when it comes to it, it depends on how you're training your players because, you know, Thomas Muller is not really that good in my opinion. He's not really like a meta type player, um, but some people love him, you know? So for me, if I was going to be training these guys up, I'm probably going to be sticking to the main guys. Goretzka is a fantastic option. I love him. This looks like a very solid card for Goretzka, kind of back to where he was at his best. Um, you can go really heavy with the defending if you wanted to get 88 tackling uh, and also go with the physical contact to 88, which is quite decent um, and still have that speed and stamina and, uh, you know, and everything. I mean, you're not going to have the acceleration, but I would put Goretzka as kind of like a Roman box-to-box, -box, a defensive Roman box-to-box -box that you don't need to worry too much. He's got the passing. He's got fairly okay ball control as well. Um, so you can actually kind of go a little bit heavy with him if you want to turn him into kind of your defensive type option. It's a very, very decent card. Obviously not the best card that you're going to have there, but I do find that that card is quite decent. Um, we also have Davies. Davies is one of these players that, you know, he's just pure pace and power uh, up the flank. If you are going for that, you can get him pretty much at 96 acceleration. You can get his dribbling quite high. His tight possession is going to be poor, but other than that, he's fairly decent. And this guy is all about just being an engine man, lads. That's kind of how I would train him up there. Sané is similar to any other winger that you have. This guy is down as a prolific winger, so he's not the whole player. So I wouldn't be too hot on this guy because he's got bad finishing and his low pass is quite poor. You kind of just have to use him as a speed freak, um, which isn't a bad thing. You know, I'm not saying that, that, that in a bad way, um, but he does kind of be limited a little bit if you want to go that route with him. He does have very poor stamina as well, so that's something to keep an eye on if you are uh, going to be buying him. So none of these players really scream out to me, must buys. Harry Kane... Also, as well as that, I keep pressing that button. Apologies, lads. He doesn't need to be boosted up too much to get that 90 plus finishing. You can even go 93 finishing and get the plus two to have 95, which I think does help with a slow player. Um, because other than that, lads, you're not really going to have much to use with this uh, with this card. I mean, he's an average, average card. He's an average target man down as a deep line forward masquerading there. Uh, obviously he's got one touch pass and some good skills so that's kind of how you're going to have to train him up um and then he's just high offensive awareness to get into those positions but listen not the worst card but yeah definitely not the best and then Kimmich right so Kimmich is probably the pick of it Kimmich is a guy that can genuinely change your team if you get used to playing with him because he's so overpowered he's got everything perfect like he's got jump he's got high he's got uh he doesn't have height that much, but he has got jump. He's got like, height doesn't really become a problem to him. He's got a good engine on him. He's a phenomenal passer that you don't really need to do much to him um, straight off the rip, but you can get that up to that. Um, so I do like that card as well, but 
Yeah, I mean, the big question is, are they worth 1,500 coins? I mean, that is the big question when you look at a couple of those trainers there. Um, let me know which one you would like me to test on live stream, and we will go for it, because we do have the coins um, that we got during the last stream's donations and stuff. So let me know, and uh, I will be back quite soon, and we'll see you then. So let me know if you're going to buy one of these packs. I would have liked to get a classic jersey or a classic boot pack with these, you know, a couple of trainers, contract renewals, a couple of, like, expiry... Uh, boosters that you could give for like 10 matches or something they've missed the boat i think with them but let me know what your guys thoughts are